you almost dead if you. So if I say like niggas, I can take it out. You just said it. Yeah, but I can take it out later. Oh. So Hi guys, Super Sonic Boom One One Seven here once again, and Blue Eyes Forty Eight. And today we're doing a review of a review which got cancelled from my channel, and I'll save it for this epic sexually moment, sexually tense. But there'll be no sound because of one reason. The microphone is fucked, kind of. So it's all echoey. It's, it's awesome. all echoey. I sound like some kind of English demon. But we can edit that, probably. Yeah, no, not really. Not really. I'm not yeah, fucking... Uh, fuck it, then. I'm not a technician. Okay. So, um, we're doing a review of Spyro 2, so, um, we've played the game. So many times. So many times. Gruesome, dangerous times. Awesome game. And fuck it's probably one of the best games I've ever made. Fuck so, you, Zoe! Um, obviously, we just skip this shit. She used to piss and me off a lot. this game... Is my favourite Spyro game. Now I have many reasons which I'll explain. Um, I'll just I know if I have missed them enemies by the way. I'm just trying to. Is this controller is really weird? Yeah, it's made out of. No, it's not made out of. <laughs> anyway, um, try and bear with the echo ness because the echo of swag is here. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> I love this. Is my favourite Spyro game ever. Really? I mean, yes. Is it better than number three though? I will say this though, right? Number yeah. three has a better exploration. I will say that. Yeah. Right? But the story. Look at the story. There's no story. Well, in this. Yes, it is. No, in story, there is a story, right? In this, there is a story. I love the story in this. I absolutely love it. <laughs> right? Rip Toe as a villain best is one the best think. idea. Best yeah. idea. Best villain in all the Spyro games. Yeah, he's like the. Mr. Kipling. Mr. Kipling. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, he's like, um, I don't even know. Um, he's cool, but badass, isn't he? Yeah, he's like a, a supreme overlord of swag, no joke. Um, he's like really badass, and you know, like... Well, it's Nasty York, he's just a pussy. A Nasty York, you know, his boss, Ripto's boss fight is the best way. Yeah, it's like ages, though, and it's like two minutes. End it. It, it's it's just, kind of end the game. That is the way to end the game. And the sword shift was quite good at the end. Because just there's two boss fights in there, but... Yeah, and you know, um, this has quite good boss fights as well. And you know, this is probably has the best boss, boss fights in the original Spyro trilogy. Spyro 3 boss fights, to me, they tried to reenact them a little bit, but they kind of put them in their separate own boss fights with um, different with different ways, obviously. Huh. Money bags. And um, uh, uh, the second thing why I like this game is just the character development. Right, and I know Spyro 3 has it, right, it has quite, it has a very good character development as well, even the story wasn't as good, right? But this, right, I prefer Alora, right, than the bunny rabbit girl, I can't remember her name, Bianca, that's it, Bianca. Bianca, Bianca, Bianca same thing, anyway. Um, Alora is kind of like, statues there for a purpose. And to me, Bianca, even though she's there for a purpose, she's... I can't even think of it. You know what? I mean, yeah, no. It's like that her character is good, but compared to Alora's, like, I would rather prefer, that's why I prefer Alora, because her character development shows a lot more compared to Bianca's character development. And, you know, I know that, oh, I'm going to get slammed for this, but I, that's why I prefer Alora, is because... The, Character development is in this is just okay, and I'll take it you're plugging in your phone. Yep, yep. charging my phone. Some like fucking wires. No, why are you forging your phone? Anyway, so um, yeah, another thing I like about this is the music, and I think we could probably edit that, can't we? Yes. We could add music. music. Yeah. You can do. What's the point? Well. You just search into music and for Spyro 2 soundtrack and you'll be blown away. I mean, um, this soundtrack will blow you away instantaneously. Um, I mean, it's probably the best soundtrack ever existed in the PS1 library. No, that's Command & Conquer 1. Command & Conquer 1 soundtrack... Have you heard it, seriously? I, um, no. Really um, but like, really I, this is my favourite soundtrack at the moment. Right, the favourite soundtrack in the PS1 library, right? Stuart Copeland poured his heart and soul into the soundtrack in this, right? The, the music in the first Spyro game, right, I'll have to say it's right. The reason why I prefer Spyro 2 and Spyro 3 is because of the soundtrack. 
right? Spyro one soundtrack was a hit or a miss thing, right? Mm -hmm. Spyro Spyro three soundtrack was good, right? But the problem is, right? Is that I just didn't think it felt like some of the music didn't belong in some of the levels, right? However, the best Spyro music ever made is Fireworks Factory, and I don't understand why. It's like they just wasted the. It's like they just played the whole Fireworks Factory sound music, and just see what happens. You know, um, will this video be uploaded on my channel? I don't know. Both. Both. Yeah. Alright, that's cool. Cool. Um, I'm just trying to find the last one. Where's the last gem thing? Yeah. Meow. 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 There it is. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. This is the reason why we. This that's one of the reasons why I kind of like it. What's the reason why you, why you hate it? Well, this I don't hate it. Well, you don't hate it. What's the reason why you prefer Spyro Three more than Spyro Two? Because it seemed like a longer game, and this was kind of short. That's all. Sorry, anyway. And this is way harder. This is the hardest one out of all three of them, and the first three. But don't you think that if you have challenging games, right? If you have challenging mm -hmm. games. Yeah. Right, you've got to kind of take this from the If you don't have challenge in games, then PDA yeah. gamers will complain about it. Well, yeah, but the... If there's too much challenge, I mean, if there's just the whole game yeah, is hard, like Jack 2, oh, yeah, for example, yeah. right, then the gamers were going to hate that because it's, impossible because it's going to be impossible to do. The same with, um, what game is it? I mean, we've just, we've got, I think Prince of Persia was very hard, actually. Yeah. I remember that being very hard. Um, yeah, the Prince of Iran, isn't it? What? The Prince of Iran. No, he's not the Prince of Iran, he's the Prince of Persia. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he's the Iran, isn't he? Yeah. Other round. Other way around, really, yes. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got to think of this right. We're challenged, right? If there was no challenge in games, right, games would complain. If there's too much challenge, right, for example, right, games would complain as well. Then, first, then thing, so gamers would still complain. After it gets to about, it's a 10 minute, let's cut it. Okay, that's cool. So, um, the, the game, I think the game is probably one of my favourite 3D platformers of all time. This is one of my favourite 3D platformers. I mean, I did do a list of my top 10 of my top 10 3D platformers. And I said, and I said Spiral Warrior 2 was my favourite one of all time. Right. I kind of take that back. Right. My favourite 3D platform of all time, right, is actually Sly 2. <laughs> yeah. It actually is. Sly 2. 2 is fucking awesome. Right. The reason why I prefer Sly 2 more than Spyro 2 is because of the variety. Right. And I know Spyro 3 had variety, don't get me wrong. Spyro 3 had tons and tons of variety, don't get me wrong. I'll just go to this thing and I'll go into some forest, but Spyro 3 had tons and tons of variety, but I think there was some bits which I think was unnecessary. I don't we really need to have a play of the Yeti. No, Bentley. Bentley the Yeti. And did we really need to have all them over Sheila? Kangaroo, she, Sergeant Bird, Sergeant Bird Agent exactly, nine. Agent 9, and why would you want to play a Sparks? Oh yeah. Sparks is just there because he's just there, exactly, why would we need to play Sparks? There's not even a big backstory behind him mm. until the Legend of Spyro series, he's technically a reboot. Yep. So... There we go, let's go to the first home world. And I'll take it that's really song now. Yeah. Nice, Jasmine. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, um, if I could give the game a score, this game, I would still give it a 9.5 out of 10, right, and obviously it's because it's, it's just amazing, what I've got a little bit 10 minutes, a little bit over 10 minutes, right, and it's just amazing, it's just, I can't describe it anymore, it's just amazing, it has great music, a great storyline, it has great controls, great cast of characters, very good character development. It had very good graphics for its time in 1999. And that's why I love it. It's because it's a, the perfect PlayStation game. Yeah. The perfect PlayStation game. What not, the perfect, not the perfect PlayStation game, but it's like a perfect platformer. That's exactly what it is. So um, what would you give the game a score? Out of five, out of ten. Out of ten. Um, nine. Nine. And what's your reasons? 
because it's quite colourful, isn't it? There's like, lots of colours, and that's fucking awesome. And apart from it being hard, it's still a good game, I suppose. Each world is different as well. Yeah, and the worlds are different as well. So, um, yeah, I think we should end it there. Yep. We've just given our reasons why we like Spyro, why well, I like, well, technically, a review dash why I like Spyro 2 more than Spyro 3. And uh, Luke, thanks for joining, obviously. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. bye, -bye.